It's been 35 years of disc jamming at Rutgers Douglas campus in New Brunswick, New Jersey. This course has come a long way from lids and short layouts, mainly thanks to leaders like Bob Graham, Dan Doyle, and Matt LaCourt. See what the course has to offer the amateurs this year as Disc Golf Monthly starts now. Disc Golf Monthly. I'm Todd Cottrell. I'm here with Matt Ott. Today we're going to be covering the 2007 Jersey Jam. Why don't you tell us about that tournament, Matt? Well, Todd, this tournament has a rich history dating back 35 years. This tournament was originally part of the Octad series, which was a tournament that involved many disc sports events, including disc golf. Uh, you had freestyle and events, you had ultimate guts, uh, many more. The original layout of this course is shorter because it was originally an object course, and, it w and you didn't have the disc that you have today, but you threw the ultimate disc, 175 grams, and they didn't go as far. Uh, but that all changed in 1982 with the help of volunteers like Dan Doyle when they actually put in the pole hole disc catch and baskets. And another reason why this tournament's a little unusual is this is more of a split event. We've got the amateurs playing on Saturday and the pros playing on Sunday. Now, we're going to be following the top group of the amateurs, so why don't we take a little bit of time here, go out on the course, and take a look at what the Jersey Jam has for us this year. It's time once again for the Jersey Jam, held every year at Rutgers Disc Golf Course. This tournament is a pro-am event divided into two days, with the ams playing on Saturday and the pros on Sunday. This event brought players from all over the country. I'm from Seattle, and uh, my best friend over there is uh, grew up down the street from me. I said he wanted to come out and play, so I played with him a couple times. I beat him the last time we played, and so I was up for another challenge. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to lose my bragging rights today, but it's a lot of fun. This event was so popular that some players decided to play this event over tournaments at their home course. Uh, I really didn't get a chance to come up to Rutgers too much, so I at least try to make it up for the Jersey Jam tournament every year, and a lot of great uh, players I get to see that I wouldn't really, would never really get to see down the side so it's, I thought I'd come up here. The jam is played on a temporary layout that has expanded from the original design. Players find it very challenging to keep their disc from the out-of-bounds territory. Oh, overall in a whole course, uh, there's lots of OB. Um, I went OB twice on one hole. That was really the worst of it for me. It's challenging, uh, places a premium on uh, accuracy, but uh, it's a great layout. Really enjoy it. Beautiful day. And there is, of course, the most famous OB area of the course to play away from known as the Passion Puddle. I threw a sidewinder figure and I tried to ante through the big gap, but that didn't quite work out, I threw it too well. It's a nice hole though. One unique attraction to this event is a 10 meter ring laid out around each basket. It's great, I think they should uh, institute this at all PDGA sanctioned events. It's, it's great to uh, get a good measure of uh, where you're at in the, in the distance. And it really helps the players a lot. This volunteer effort was the work of Disc Devil, Scott Whitman. We did it last year at the Jam, we're going to do it this year. I think it's going to be the new standard for us. Uh, I got up, the weather wasn't with us unfortunately, it rained last night and the night before. So I got up really early this morning and I've been kind of flowering all day. <laughs> so I'm just laying out a flower line now for five meters for a CTP challenge in between rounds. But uh, happy to do it. In recent years, this event has been a success brought on by the hard work and leadership of Disc Devil B.O.B. Bob Graham, who took the torch of TD in this event from Jersey Disc Golfers Dan Doyle and Matt LaCourt. Well, we've seen the jam uh, go. When I began playing, Matt LaCourt was the, the tournament director, and he did a great job and taught me how to be a tournament director. I learned a lot from him. From there, I started TDing, I'm not sure exactly when, only about seven, eight years ago. We run a better and better ship, I think. We have a good crew, the Disc Devils, who help manage the course and manage the event. We have a lot of volunteer people. This tournament has had a rich history in the tradition of disc sports, dating back as far as 35 years, depending on who you ask. This is the uh, 35th, we believe, anniversary of the Jersey Jam. Uh, the Jersey Jam began early 70s. The earliest recorded time I have in the Jam is in 74. Although people who were working the jam back then tell me 72 was the beginning. So we go with the, the knowledgeable older fellows who say it was 72. 
and that would make this the 35th anniversary. So after 35 years, what does it feel like to be at the 2007 Jersey Jam? It's really been wonderful to see it just throughout the years go from a target course to a whole, you know, the structures came in, of course, for the World Tournament. We've been playing those. We're really happy with this layout. We were really happy with this layout last year. And even from last year to this year, we've just tweaked it just a little bit more just to make it a little bit more competitive. The success of this tournament is an extension of the leadership coming from Bob Grant. In Jersey, well, not just Jersey, but all over the place, Bob is uh, quite the, the mover and shaker. He really does give of, the, of himself to the sport. I would have to say his standout experience would be just designing this course in the first place and upkeeping it this whole time. It's just amazing that he's done this. It's like a diamond in the rough. For Bob, the beginning of his involvement in disc sports could be considered a family affair. I was very young, maybe 10 or 11 years old. My older brother, Jim Graham, started playing Ultimate and he dragged his little brother into the club and we formed a club out here in Branchburg, New Jersey. And as we got older, Ultimate became background, high school and college happened, and we dropped out of the Frisbee scene. We knew about disc golf, it was a fun thing to do on the side, but Ultimate was really our, our passion. But after, I guess it was 1988 or 87, my brother gave me a call and said, hey, you wouldn't believe this, there's actually Frisbee golf discs. <laughs> so we'd been playing with 165, you know, Ultimate lids, back then and now we're playing with disc golf discs exclusively for disc golf and we're so excited. Well congratulations to Bob Graham and fellow disc devils on their celebration of 35 years of disc jamming in Jersey. Well the disc devils are definitely one of the long-standing clubs in the area that seem to be able to put volunteers together year after year and the New Jersey Jam is definitely the disc devils premier event. Todd who are we going to see today? Well, we're going to be watching a bunch of local guys today. We're going to be watching Dave Martinez from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Cubby's joining us from Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey. Tim Ganada from Vineland, New Jersey. And Tim Felton from Manahawkin, New Jersey. Should be some pretty intense action, Matt. That's right, and we'll get right to that action right after this commercial break.